Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, Karibu Sana. My name is Davina and thank you so much for the support you're showing my channel by watching my videos, liking them, sharing them, subscribing. I do appreciate it. So today we're going to talk about promo jobs. These are activation jobs, mostly found in Nairobi and some areas in our country. It's Davina's Diary. It's all about lifestyle and vlog. Welcome to my YouTube channel. These are the kind of jobs whereby a company has an agency and an agency goes a step further to hire people who are in this case called brand ambassadors, BAs. So the role of a BA is to promote sales, product promotion and brand awareness. How does one get these kind of jobs? I know that's what you're asking. First of all, you should be in a WhatsApp group, a WhatsApp group that advertises the promo jobs or you just follow the agencies on their social media platforms, mostly on Instagram and stay updated always types of these promo jobs, there's in-store, in-bar events and food soldiers. In-store, you're sent to work in a supermarket or wholesale. In-bar, you're sent to work in a club or wines and spirits. Events, you're taken in by a corporate company like Coca-Cola. And food soldier, hey, food soldier kwangu ndongumu because you have to walk, walk while selling the product and giving all the brand awareness. So for me, I've worked with three agencies which I'll tell you later and I've only done in-store promotions. Because at the time, Mrs. Ingina Kwangu ilikuwani noma. I couldn't. Qualifications. Of course, you must be 18 and above. Have an ID. Academic requirements. Don't go to that promo interview and try to show them how learned you are or tag along your many, many papers. No, they don't need that. I mean, you can even finish your form 4 and get that job because they only need your skills. Unless you're in campus, that's when they'll ask you which campus are you in and the course you're taking. Dress code. Don't be so official. Don't be so ratchet. Uh, just dress casually when you have a up on a flat, you just go to the interview. And then there are some agencies, mostly for the inba promotions, they want you to wear a certain outfit so that they can see your shape. In that case, if you have a big tummy, just try to wear a corset or a high waist jeans, just tuck in your tummy for that day. And then if you have a lot of tattoos and piercing, just try to cover them up because that one might disqualify you. Uh watu angalianga vitu zingine ndogo sana that you least expect. Another thing, don't wear short clothes, short dresses, short skirts, as much as it's casual. Keep it presentable, you know, don't miss an opportunity because of an outfit. Unenda interview, va kama mwenye unenda interview. Don't wear a booty short and romper, no. Hairstyle be neat, songa nyuele kamoja songa, style it up, unezalalisha na gel. These things matter a lot because utafika huko upate mko watu miatano and they only need 300 people. So that means mchujita kwa hapo ni kali sana, just be on point. Leave a positive impression. Makeup, if you know how to do your makeup, wear your makeup on that day. And if you don't know how to do your makeup, watch her. Don't try on that day because you look like a clown. On the lipstick side, I usually go for the red lip because it makes my face to pop. And then, if you're going to do your eyeshadows, don't go for the shouting colors. I prefer the nude colors. Okay? Higher time. Make sure you keep time. If you're supposed to be there by 8, make sure you'll be there by 7.30. Or else, utadifanya interview peke yako hapo kwa gate. You know, and most agencies, when you go for the interview, you register hapo kwa gate. Unandika time umefika na jina lako. So, whenever you go for the interview, they look at that. Kama you're a timekeeper, so that they can consider you. Another thing is confidence. When talking to them, just look straight into their eyes. If you try to look kando kando, that's when they'll know this one has some fears. And even they'll try hard to chicken you out. Even if it's your first time, you know what? They don't spare that. You have to gain confidence. What are the kind of questions to expect during this interview? Their experience. They'll want to know whether you've done this job before or not. And let me tell you, man, don't be scared. Just let them know whatever you've been doing, whether you're selling in a shop or a boutique, just let them know. And when answering these questions, be smart and sharp. Try as much as possible to smile while you're talking to them. It creates a nice impression. That's what they want. Another thing, the feedback might take long, and by that I mean there might be an interview going on somewhere else, and you're just here seated, waiting for feedback from a different agency. You're just attached to one agency. No, try somewhere else. And sometimes, actually, the activation never happens. You even go for training, and the activation never happens. So also try some agencies. How do you even know you've passed the interview? Most agencies just add you to a WhatsApp group. 
na mnapangwa kazi hivo. So don't expect any call or an email. And questions are almost the same in all agencies, so don't look timid. Jamini. Another thing to expect is harsh working conditions. For example, uneza pata de manafanya promo ya maziwa. She's standing next to a freezer the whole freaking day. You know, and you know what? It might be a rainy season. And these agencies don't want you to cover their brand. They want to be seen. So where's Eva's sweater? You must be ready for this. Another thing to expect is late payment. Some agencies just pay over the weekend. Maybe work from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. They pay you on Saturday. But sometimes there's delayed payment. So it even goes up to a month. So you should be ready for this. Have your own fare to and from work. This gets so bad when they don't communicate because bruh, what if you're broke? What will you do? They need to communicate so that you go get some shimoni from somewhere for lunch and for fare. Another thing is the outlet distance. You might be allocated a store very far away from where you live and you have to be ready for this. This outlet distance might also be an effect of your relation with your team leader. You know, you might be living in Donum, then you'll be given an outlet in Westlands, you know. You have no choice, you have to go. So just have good relations with these team leaders and create a bond. When you're at work, just be focused, alert at that in your goal. You might not be having a supervisor around every time or a team leader in your outlet every time, but trust me, someone somewhere is watching. This has happened so many times. To end a lunch, unapata project manager, ametuma picha yako kwa group. And you know what? It's someone who took your picture unknowingly wakati luko mezuba, akamtumia. So don't be distracted. Just be focused, bifanya kazi yako vizuri. Don't lose your job. The good thing about this kind of jobs is that it builds your confidence, you know. Me siku na joko ngea mbelea watu. Let me tell you there's a part called role play when training. You see mama mbelea watu miya tato nga miya ine. Total strangers, wame kongalea tu hivi. You have to showcase how you're going to sell your product to a consumer. Bruh, it's not that easy, but it builds my confidence, you know. That's the best part of it. And the other best part is that you make friends who connect to other jobs, you know. When going for an interview, ongea na watu, juana na watu. You might fail, but usha juana na mtu wapa na juana na agency ingine, ata kukonect. That's how it works. Actually, if you're an introvert, unanza tu kwa extrovert. Pole, pole, unanza tu kwa ongea na watu kusocialize. Another thing is that you get to know places. Kama ujui Nairobi vizuri, utajua Nairobi. You'll just be sent to a certain outlet. Mbali sana na penye ujui, you'll just have to go there. So you will panda uba, unafanya promo, utapanda too much. So you'll have to explore and know places. Don't look down on these jobs actually. Mostly when on campus, just do them for the connections and the experience. Ata wama project manager wame kuanga ma BATLs wakipandanga. On the other side, uneza pata connection. Unezo kwa kwa store just minding on business, kumbe someone somewhere is spying on you. Anona venye unafanya kazi yako vizuri, you deliver your customer service is top notch. Na uyo mtu wakuna company maali, asa kwa approach, akulize, will you mind to work as this and this in my company? Hivo tu. Another thing, uniforms activation, zineza kwa inappropriate kwa kwa because of the length. Ineza kwa fupi sana, ineza kwa imekubana sana, so you have to be flexible. If you okay with that, go with the flow. Also tell your friends about these jobs. Chase dreams together. Whenever you're going for an interview, just tell your friends, tag them along. If you're nervous, you can also tag a friend along. And also don't comment negative stuff in the group. They'll disqualify you. You want to work with them again. And as I said earlier, I've worked with three agencies and in all of them, see Kwe Pata Shidata Moja. The first one was Hill, Hill Experiential Limited, Hill Ninyumbani. Hill trusted in me. They gave me my first job. Guy. Hill, Hill shaped me to who I am today. I gained confidence through Hill. I made a lot of friends through Hill, whom we are in touch up to date. You know, Hill shaped me. I've also worked with Sparks254 and Amosound. And one thing I would like to tell you is that just know the exact location of the offices of these agencies because nowadays there are a lot of scammers. jobs, So they just direct you to somewhere and all that. Just know the exact location of these offices. So that is it. I'll also link the names of other agencies that I know in my description box. Check them out. If you're looking for a job, all the best. And thank you so much for watching my video till the end. I do appreciate so much. Kindly subscribe if you haven't. And let's see each other in another vlog. Bye-bye.